Let's talk about the magic hexagon for derivatives and integral of trigonometric functions. Ginawa ko to na technique para hindi ko na i-memorize yung derivatives tsaka yung integral. And what I would do every exam para hindi ako ma-mental block is ilista ko yung mga derivatives tsaka integral. Para while mag-solve ako, makikita ko sa scratch paper ko yung derivatives tsaka yung integral. So first is gumawa ka ng parang hexagon similar sa previous video. So sa side na to, S, T, S, tsaka puro C sa kabilang side. Dapat arrange to in this particular order ha para hindi magkamali. Dapat ma-memorize mo kung paano ko ginawa yung arrows. So first, pagsimula tayo sa derivative ng sine. May angle pa to ha, either x or pwede din theta. Pero that's common sense na. So first, derivative ng sine, gawin natin is yung tail to head method. Meaning, tail ng arrow na to, to yun, ang derivative niya is yung head. So meaning, derivative ng sine is cosine. So derivative naman ng cosine, ulit tail to head. So, derivative ng cosine, tail to head. So, meaning cosine is negative sine. That is why sinabi ko na dapat i-follow mo exactly kung paano ko dinraw yung arrows. So, dito tayo sa tangent. So, ulit magdodraw ako ng arrows. Derivative ng tangent, tail to head is secant squared. Derivative naman ng secant, as I said, tail to head. So, if my cross yung nasa tail, that means in included siya. So, derivative ng secant natin is secant tangent. So, sa kabilang side naman tayo, mag-draw ng arrows. Okay, so now, derivative of cotangent. So, ulit, tail to head. Sa head natin, may 2 tayo, tsaka negative sign. So, that would mean negative cosecant squared. So, ang numbers, that would indicate exponent siya. Yung negative or yung sign, yun yung sign ng function itself. So, next is the derivative of cosecant. So, ulit, tail to head. And since may cross siya dyan, that would mean included siya. So, cosecant, cotangent. And since may negative sign sa head, negative to. So, that would be the derivative. Ang integral is the reverse of the derivative. So, so i-reverse lang natin ang lahat ng andito na side. So, integral of cosine, Integral of cosine is sine. Integral of sine is negative cosine, meaning makeri yung negative sine, matransfer sa kabilang side. Integral of secant squared is equals to tangent. Integral of sectan is equals to secant. Integral of cosecant squared is equals to negative cotangent. Take note na ang negative sine lang yung makikeri, hindi included ang exponent na makeri. So, integral of cosecant cotangent is equal to negative cosecant. As I said before, after every trigonometric function, may angle pa yan, either x or theta. Depende yan sa given. Diba sinabi ko na ang makeri lang is ang negative sign, hindi ang exponent. And that's because integral of secant is not equal sa integral ng secant squared as well as not equal din siya sa integral ng tangent dito. Tsaka dito, not equal sa integral ng cosecant. So, ang integral ng secant, tangent, tsaka cosecant, different pa yan. And that does not work with this magic hexagon. Kasi mataas pa yun na derivation. And that would be for another video. So, ulit, review natin. Dapat exactly the same yung arrows. Opposite, opposite lang naman na arrows. Tapos dito, may dalawang cross. Para siyang espada. Tapos careful lang kung saan nilalagay yung 2, tsaka yung negative sign. Sa lower right side, puro negative yan. Sa lower left side naman, walang negative. Sa upper naman, may negative tsaka positive. So, that's it.